In this video, we are going to discuss about wireless communication techniques. Wireless communication plays a crucial role in enabling the functionality of wearable devices. Here are some common wireless communication techniques used in wearable devices. First one is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a widely used wireless technology for short range communication between wearable devices and smartphones or other Bluetooth enabled devices. It is low power and offer seamless connectivity. Wearable devices often uses Bluetooth to transfer data, stream music, receive notification and even control other devices. Second one is Wi-Fi. Many advanced wearable devices support wireless fidelity connectivity, allowing them to connect to the internet and interact with cloud-based services. Wi-Fi offers higher data transfer rate and longer range compared to Bluetooth, making it suitable for data intensive applications such as streaming media or downloading updates. Next one, Near Field Communication NFC, is a short range wireless communication technology that enable contactless data transfer between devices. It is commonly used for mobile payments and access control applications in wearables. For example, some smartwatches and fitness trackers support NFC for mobile payments or pairing with other devices. Next one, cellular connectivity. Some wearable devices such as smartwatches may have built-in cellular connectivity. This enables them to connect directly to cellular networks. Similar to smartphones, without relying on a paired smartphone for internet access, cellular connectivity allows wearable to make phone calls, send messages and access online services independently. Next one, Zigbee or Z-Wave. These wireless protocol are commonly used for home automation and smart home application. Wearable devices can utilize Zigbee or Z-Wave to communicate with other smart devices in the home, such as thermostats, lights or security systems. This allows wearable to control and monitor various aspects of the smart home ecosystem. Next one, ANT Plus. ANT Plus is a wireless communication protocol specifically designed for health and fitness devices. It enables wearables to connect and exchange data with other ANT Plus enabled devices such as heart rate monitors, cycling sensors or fitness equipment. This facilitates real-time monitoring and analysis of fitness related metrics. Next one, UWB, Ultra Wideband. Ultra Wideband is a short-range wireless communication technology that enables precise indoor positioning and localization. Wearable devices can leverage UWB to determine their position accurately within a confined space enabling applications such as indoor navigation, asset tracking and proximity based interaction. These are just a few examples of wireless communication techniques used in wearable devices. The choice of wireless technology depends on factors such as 
device intended functionality, power consumption requirements, range, data transfer, rates and compatibility with other devices and ecosystems. Next one, wireless standards. WPAN or a class of networks the sub subsumes BANs specifically WPANs or short range networks usually confined to the personal operating spaces of users. The first WPAN effort was initiated in 1998 with the emergence of Bluetooth technology. In 1999, the IEEE 802.15 standards working group was created and this group has since been actively involved in developing wireless standards for the personal area network arena. The IEEE 802.15.1 standard based on Bluetooth technology was the first standard to address WPANs that is wireless personal area network. This was followed by effort of the IEEE 802.15.3 TOS group which lead to the ZigBee standard. Finally, the IEEE 802.15.4 TOS group is developing a standard for low data rate sensor network applications. Next, this table shows WPAN comparison. The first one 802.15.1 which is a Bluetooth and next one is a WI Media that is 15.3. Next one Zigbee 802.15.4. So they have shown in the diagram um, the difference right Oper operational spectrum PHY layer details, then channel axis, then maximum data rate at which the data will be transferred, then coverage radius, how much area it can cover. Next, um, typical current drain, then uh, rela relative cost per node. So next one is Bluetooth that is IEEE uh, 802.15.1. In 1998, a group of companies sought to develop technology to enable wireless interconnectivity between personal devices. Example, laptops, personal digital assistant, digital camera, etc respectively separated by 10 meter or less bluetooth technology was developed to meet these needs in 1999 the ieee 802.15.1 working group adopted the bluetooth specification as the basics of a 1 megabits per second wpan standards bluetooth links operate in the 2.4 GHz unlicensed band, more specifically the 2402 to 2400 GHz industrial, scientific and medical band is divided into 79 equally spaced 1 MHz channels, which each Bluetooth device employs using random hopes. Modulation technique that is um, Gaussian shaped frequency shift keying GFSK at uh, 1 megabits per second rate transmitter output power of 
1 milliwatts. When operating within the 10 meter communication range, Bluetooth devices can organize themselves into piconets. Each piconet has a master node which controls and communicates with at most seven slaves. Piconets can operate independently and their configurations can change spatially and over time. Every new devices that wishes to enter a piconet must register with the master node. If the master node is already full with seven slave nodes, the new device register is parked mode. As in parked mode. Devices may also exist in standby mode when they don't associate it with a piconet. Communication among members of the piconet is defined in IEEE 802.15.1 standard. So the next uh, one is WI Media IEEE 802.15.3. Since the Bluetooth standard is not intended for high rate multimedia applications, the IEEE 802.15.3 working group pursued a high rate 11 to 55 megabits per second. WPAN standard in 2003 with a focus on medium access control MEIC and physical layer specification. This standard specifies an ad hoc PAN topology similar to the master slave Bluetooth architecture. Devices can assume either master or slave functionality and exit or enter the ad hoc network without complicated setup procedure. The MAC is based on CSMA bar CA. In CSMA, each device is first listen to the channel for a predetermined amount of time to verify if it is ideal. If the channel is idle, then the device transmits. If it is not, the, devi the device differs its transmission. The physical layer of the 802.15.3 standard specifies operation in the unlicensed 2.4 GHz frequency band with 4 15 MHz channels. The base modulation is differentially encoded QPSK with option to switch to uncoded QPSK. Trellis coded QPSK and 16 bar 32 bar 64 QAM. The 802.15.3A group was formed to create a high speed enhancement of the 802.15.3 physical layer. The focus of the group was to develop a standard that would support bit rates up to 480 megabits per second using the principle of ultra wideband communication. Wireless USB is based on the Wi Fi Media Alliance's MB OFDM based. UWP physical layer and it is capable of sending up to 480 and 110 megabits per second at a distance up to 3 and 10 meter respectively. It operates in the 3.1 to 10.6 gigahertz frequency range. Next one IEEE 802.15.4 Zigbee. Zigbee specification defines a standard for low rate, low power WPANs. 
that are well suited for body area and home networking application example home automation security etc in 2000 the zigbee alliance and ieee802 working group came together to build the specification for low rate pans the ieee802.15.4 supports both star and peer to peer network topologies the mac layer is once again based on csma bar ca the physical layer is based on direct sequence spec spectrum technique operating in the unlicensed 2.4 gigahertz ism band worldwide there is also a provision for use of the 868 bar 9 15 megahertz bands in europe and in the united state respectively a typical coverage radius for each of these devices is envisioned to be around 10 to 20 meter the 2 gigahertz band supports data rates up to 250 kilobits per second wireless technology categories technologies for on body communications fall into three general categories first one is radio frequency links second one is inductively coupled magnetic links and intra body communication approach tools for data logger to base station interactions are generally rf links where bluetooth zigbee and wifi media are all viable alternatives depending on throughput and power consumption requirements cell phones will also fill in this role next one radio frequency links radio frequency links are by far the most commonly used on body technology sets many commercial off the shelf tools exist to implement rf links first rf links can be designed with custom transmit bar receive electronics and antennas where these specialized design may be targeted towards specific power size and frequency specification second chip level com solution defined by industry standards can be purchased that offer a development kit which can be used to test drive firmwares and the viability of the wireless link prior to incorporating the chip in a board level design a more sophisticated rf tool set that includes fully functional nodes with radio storage pre programmed networking capabilities and often on board sensors would fall within a grouping of wireless tools commonly referred to as a modes these tools allowing programming access to higher level network functionality freeing the developers from the details of the low level network interactions and allowing them to concentrate on ban sensors interfacing development of custom sensor designs and data analysis task many more platforms already incorporate sensors for ambient temperature humidity light levels three axis acceleration and global position additional sensors can be integrated with the parent mode through the use of a small daughter cot the primary advantages of this approach include the ability to quickly establish a robust wireless network software only interaction with the wireless unit themselves 
the availability of a host operating systems example tiny os on the wireless board and the potential for high volume use via a purchase order next one inductive links inductive links relay on magnetic coupling to convey information between a transmitter and a receiver on the transmission side of an inductive links the electronics drive an electrical current through a loop antenna which creates a magnetic field that surrounds the entire transmitter this directional magnetic field decreases in the intensity as 1 by r power 3 in its near field where r is a distance between the source and receiving antenna when a receiver loop antenna is placed within the magnetic field a current is generated that is feed to the receiver electronics inductive links hold an advantage over traditional rf transmission in their ability to send data through tissues where the associated sensors may be ingested implanted or simply on opposite sides of the wearer's body rf transmission in the 900 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz range or essentially useless in a tissue medium due to water based attenuation in a magnetically coupled link the transmission range is more affected by the transmitter receiver winding radii and their number of turns core permeabilities and relative orientation than by the presence of tissue water within the transmission range because of their ability to transmit power wirelessly within their near field the inductive links are attractive mean to recharge pacemakers implanted neuroprosthesis they can also provide power to and receive data from passive rfid chips microchips 1998 some of which can be injected into a host and other implanted devices these links can be used to provide command and firmware upgrade to implanted devices and to receive signal image data from ingestible gastro intestinal pills and implanted sensors next one intra body communication links intra body communication links are relatively new and uses the body tissues as a transmission media signals are transmitted between on body or intra body trans- transceivers using either electromagnetic waves electric field the near field electromagnetic method treats the human body as a waveguide and employs both two and four electrode schemes example over a frequency range of 200 to 600 megahertz different modulation technique example fsk ask bpsk and msk for the electromagnetic solution operate within this context to achieve high transmission rates and low error rates near field electric methods treat the human body as a conductor wrapped in an insulator a current loop is established between established by the transmitter electrodes the body channel the receiver electrode and the capacitive return path to ground 
This allows the use of a distributor resistance capacitance model to analyze the channel characteristics as a function of frequency and channel length. A transi transceiver for this approach based on an electro optic sensor design that is suitable for detection of small and unstable electric fields produced by the human body. It promises that data can potentially be transferred to handheld computers or embedded terminals simply through a single touch. Communications are confined to the body area providing more secure transmissions and less inter interference with other wireless signals. Applications that utilize this technology have started to emerge. A touch and play JPEG image printer application was developed where an image file can be digitally transferred from one hand to the opposite hand with a 1 megabits per second data rate. Some of my reference for making this videos I have given below. First one, Analisa Bonfiglo and Dilo D. Rossi. Wearable monitoring systems, Springer 2011. Second one book is Gong Zong Yang Body Sensor Network Springer 2006. Third one is Fundamentals of Internet of Things IoT and Wearable Technology Design IEEE Press Willie Higher Road. Fourth one Wearable Sensor Fundamentals Implementations and Applications edited by Edward Sasunovo, 2nd edition. So, thank you for listening to this video.